about time. What's going on? Yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Now, some people live in a bubble, and some people just live in a bubble. We all live in our own bubbles. Everybody. There's 340 million people in America. Now, Stacey Dash, she said she's a huge DMX fan and honestly didn't know he passed away. She said she was on TikTok and she's seen a lot of his videos and she said she noticed a rest in peace. And she just realized that X passed away. I didn't know. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm ashamed. I... I didn't know DMX died from a cocaine overdose. I didn't know. I am today six years and one month clean. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. He lost to it. He lost. He lost to that demon of addiction. Please don't lose. Listen, I know it's easy to run to the clueless jokes. You know, in a situation like oh, this. Oh, say that she was clueless? Yeah, but, but, um, but the world is a big place, right? And I would think if she was a huge DMX fan, she would know that he passed. But we also don't know what she had going on in her life. Maybe she was in rehab. Maybe she Maybe was she was disconnected. She, she wasn't. Maybe she hasn't been paying attention. You know what I mean? Like, so I, I'm not. The brother passed away 17 months ago. Hey, listen, man. There's people right now that I might hear died, and I'll be like, I thought they'd been dead. You know what I mean? Or, or I'll be like, somebody tell me somebody such and such. And I'll be like, damn, they died? Like, it's hard to keep up, especially nowadays. The last few years, we've seen a lot, a lot of death, bro. A lot of death. But the thing that I would, you know, just be like, damn, is like, if you say you that much of a fan of DMX, then you should have know, known DMX passed away. But you don't know what she had going on in her life. Like I said, she might have been disconnected, man. Who That's knows? That's true. Now, Tyrese was back in the news. Of course, he's at court, divorce court right now. And yesterday, while he was on stand, the judge kind of screamed on him. If I recall your testimony correctly, Mr. Gibson, you said 2018 you were financially in, quote, shambles. Is that correct? Yeah. So in 2018, when you were financially in shambles, do you know how much you made that year? I don't. According to your tax return, you made $2.221 million. Page 32. Do you want to check my math? Sir, I'm asking you because I don't do the CFO thing. Here's a question to you, smart no. person. No. Hey. That's enough. You go sit down. We're taking a break. Lawyer's back now. If you do it again, I'm going to hold you in contempt. You don't ask me questions. That's not how this works. Well, the judge was mad because uh, Tyrese started to ask the attorney questions. God bless Tyrese. I wish him the best in whatever he's going through in this case. You know what I'm saying? Um, That's our guy. Mm -hmm. I hope it works out for him. But I understand how the judge feels. You know what I mean? It's crazy how Tyrese has that impact on people. We've all wanted to shut Tyrese up at some point in, in our lives. Yeah, but, you know, if the if the attorney badges you, you can't ask the attorney a question? Because um, the attorney badges him. And I'm sure I don't all know. Tyrese was going to say was, look, I run my company. I, my accountant handles my financial my finances. My financial manager or investor handles the investments. I mean, but that's what he was gonna say. Yeah, it does sound crazy when you know you 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 said you were in shambles financially, but you made over a couple million dollars that year. That did. But you don't know his bills. That is true. I mean, but, but by the way, no. What, hey, what businesses? What you're, what I mean? what you're saying is real because it, what if you used to making ten million a year? Yeah, and, and but that was the year you expenses. made two million. Yeah, correct. You know what I mean? Two, you might have two million in expenses, so that might all that money might have gone to the bills. But once again, ain't nobody caring about rich people problems. Y'all, you know how much two million dollars is? A lot of money. Some people would never see two million dollars in their life. You're right. Let alone make two million dollars in a year. So it's just like you know, nobody asked for those cameras to be in court and show that. So you can't be mad at Tyrese, but. I understand the judge wanting to tell us how he shut up. Just now, like I'm yeah. sure people want to tell me shut up a lot of times. All the time. <laughs> now, our young thug fans think that he's planning on breaking out from prison uh, by swimming. Oh, Lord. And that's because he hit Michael Phelps and said, <sighs> I'm talking with my roommate, and we're wondering if you could swim 100 miles from the middle of the ocean back to shore. Oh, my God. <laughs> is there an ocean near Atlanta? I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm asking. I really don't know. I've I don't never know. looked. Is there an ocean near Atlanta? I don't know. Well, Mike Phelps uh, responded, "Yeah, I think I can make Google. it." Google. Then Young Thug said, "How long do you think it'd take?" Um, no, Young Thug is not trying to break out and swim. Well, here's the thing, and this, this is what I want fans to understand: mm-hmm. if you love Young Thug mm-hmm. and you think that's Young Thug's plan, why would you get on social media and talk about it? Right. Why would you get on social media and tell the law enforcement what he might be planning? 
and then get mad when the law enforcement <laughs> uses your tweet yes. to, to get in trouble. What if they do? What if they do? What if the law enforcement is like, oh, you planning to break out? That's what this is about? Now you getting this man in more trouble. Boy, y'all talk so damn much about stuff that y'all don't be even having a clue about and making up things. <laughs> like, how you just gonna make up Young Thug planning to break out? I didn't get that from that tweet at all. You know what I got from that tweet? I'm bored. Bored as hell <laughs> in bored. jail. We just talking. Yes. That's what I got. Goodness gracious. All right, well, that is your rumor report. I hope he doesn't try to swim because that's a long swim. 100 miles? He can't swim 100 miles? Come no. on. Like, well, come on. All right. When we come back, we got the People's Choice mix. Don't move. It's no, the Breakfast don't. Club. Good morning.